Good morning everyone. My name is Carla and you have reached my FlossTube channel, Carla Being Crafty. Um, I am here today to do another Cat Lady Box unboxing for you. This is the November box. I figured um, we're, this is Thanksgiving weekend right now and I figured I better get it in before it's not even November anymore. Um, so you will see there's no kitty up here right now. He's actually under me. I can see his tail. Um, 30 seconds before I turn on the camera he threw up. You know, he's a cat, so that doesn't mean he's sick. It means he probably ate his kibble too fast or got a hair in his throat or something. Um, so now he's sulking a little bit, but we'll see. He might come up here when I start unboxing and, and get the toys out and everything. Um, this month, I actually got some extra things. They always have a, um, like a little window where you can purchase um, <clears throat> kind of sale items or items from their shop. Um, and then they'll be shipped with your regular cat lady box and you don't pay extra shipping on it. Um, <clears throat> so as they were having a sale and there was one thing at least that I was, had been eyeing for actually quite a while. So I decided to go ahead and get that. And then, you know, I was looking around, so I ended up getting a couple things. So let's do the extras first and then we'll go into the November box. Um, this is the November card. And it's got a theme of happy home with the O in home at kitty face. So um, anyway, let's go into the extras first. Um, so I saw this and I just had to get it. Um, in one of the other boxes, I got a mat just like this um, that I have on the little stool thing, ottoman thing that uh, Baggy sometimes likes to sleep on. If you have a cat, you know, they go through phases, right? Where for two weeks, they're in one spot every, every day to sleep on. And then in another two weeks, they move their spot. So one of his spots is actually right here next to me. It's a little velvet ottoman, but I decided to go ahead and put cover on it just in case, you know, just to keep it a little bit nicer. And so I put the little bed that I got, the, the matte bed with the Sherpa on it that I got several months ago. But then I saw this one and I had to get it to use through the end of the year. So it's a oops, Hanukkah kitty, Hanukkah kitty, little Sherpa bed. It's nice and oh, it's so soft. So hopefully you'll enjoy laying on that. I just thought it was really cute. And, uh, yeah, he needed a couple Hanukkah things, right? So, <clears throat> that is number one extra. Um, oh, as long as I was getting a few extra things, I got this little set of pens because they're freaking cute and who can't use an extra pen or two. So I think they're just regular ballpoint pens, but look at, look at them. So yeah. And yeah, they're just regular ballpoint pens, but you know, I use pens a lot. Got to make those notes for my plus two videos, right? So, was that? Then this was like a last second add-on. I debated and debated, and then I realized like I do have a use for it because um, for those of you that watch my channel and kind of know what's going on in my life, you know that my brother and sister-in-law are planning on moving sometime this year. Probably not till or next year. Probably not till the summer, but but still, they are moving. And for the last couple years, um, they have been my laundromat. So when I go see them um, every couple weeks, I bring a bag of laundry and I do my laundry in their washer dryer, um, which, you know, they've been so generous to let me do that. And um, it's been really helpful. So in, in carting my laundry, um, I realized that what is easy for easiest for me to do is to put laundry in kind of like a tote bag or a duffel bag or something like that. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that for doing my laundry here in my apartment complex. 
Um, the big problem with doing my laundry in my apartment complex is not doing the laundry. It's the fact that I have to go up and down the stairs several times when I do laundry, which really is difficult for my knees and stuff. So I kind of came up with a plan that when I do laundry, I'm going to go ahead and put my laundry in a tote bag, put it in my car in the morning when I go to work, and then when I come back, I will go and put in a load of laundry before I even go upstairs. So I will take out one of the up and down trips, right? I thought that was kind of clever of me to think about that. So um, I've been using like a reusable grocery bag, but I thought, hey, what if I got just a dedicated laundry bag? Um, this is not a huge duffel, but it's super cute. And you know what? It'll hold just about like one load, right? So I figured I would use this. This would be my like dedicated laundry bag and um, you know, I clean it a couple times a week and fill it with my dirty laundry. And then when I get home from work, go put it in the washing machine before I go upstairs. And then I only have to go up and down twice more to transfer it to the dryer and then to go pick it up. So, um, I thought this was really cute. And it, as I said, it was on sale. You want to come up here now, baby? You do? So psychedelic kitty tote bag I mean it also would be good for like weekending or anything like that so maybe I won't use it for the laundry but that was what my intention was with getting this come here nope he's under the chair again okay and then the last thing that I got was actually the reason that I did get extra stuff to even start with oops well now you really can't come by Come on. Come on. Here. Oh. oh. Dearest the big boy. Here. Come on. Peggy. Let's go. Okay. Sorry about that. I put a few treats up there so he can. Let me see if you can. Can you see him? Here. Why don't we put the treats over here? Put here. So they can see your pretty face. Come here. Over here. There we go. Now you can see the kitty boy. Okay, so anyway, the reason that I actually got a couple extra things is because I really wanted this. I've seen it for a long time. I think they had it last Halloween, and then it was back in the shop this Halloween. It is a black cat pumpkin. a candle holder and I do burn candles all the time but it also could be just used as a as a jar or a holder of things There it is. I don't know. Can you see the little face? I just really wanted this jar. I, I just thought it was adorable. And so when it went on sale, I jumped on it. So, there. Okay, so that was the extras that I got this month. And now we're on to the actual Cat Lady box, which has three or four things for the Cat Lady. And if you get the Crazy Cat Lady box, which this is, it's a couple extra bucks. And you get two things for the kitty, which you can tell he knows because it, it probably smells good to him. I don't smell anything, but he loves the toys from this company. So they must be highly, highly good scented. Okay, so I always go over a little card with you guys. As I said, this is November 2022. Happy home. Um... Happy home theme. And the artist is Natsa. Natalia Ilarionova is an artist from Vienna, Austria. She enjoys the process of creating illustrations for children and adults with cats and without for silk and textiles, postcards, and magazines. You can see more of her work at, at Nats underscore Natsa. And then the cat lady cares um, recipients this uh, past month are Four Angels Rescue Center, Junction Cat Rescue, 
Keithia's Kitty Rescue, Huntington County Humane Society, and the 10th Life Cat Rescue. Because of you, we were able to donate to these rescues last month. So that's one thing I really like about this box. I say this every month. This is not an inexpensive box. It's not like discount items. They're um, proprietary items and they're, you know, regular price that you'd pay, maybe even a premium price. Um, the box is about $40. Um, but um, I do like that they donate, uh, I think, $500 to each cat rescue or something every month. And, um, I like the items, you know, it's, it's just fun. It's fun for me to open. Uh, Baggy has got a nice stash of toys, which he does enjoy playing with. He is not, he's not a super playful kitty, um, but he has his moment. So he gets very, very excited about toys, plays with them for like five minutes and then he's done. Um, but then an hour or two later, he could be very excited about them again. So, um, he does enjoy getting them. <laughs> Don't you? Yes, you do. Um, so I've enjoyed getting this box. I think um, I've gotten six month box at a time, and I think my subscription is going to go through February this year. And then I, I think I'm going to not get it for a while. Um, and maybe we'll try another box, or maybe we'll go back to this later. Who knows? Um, but for right now, um, we have November. Oops. Okay. So let's open it. Let's get him his first thing because he's so excited here. So, ooh, this is cute. This is a little pumpkin. Perfect pumpkin catnip toy. He likes things that have a feather at the top, I must say. That is always a winner in his book. Just cut off the tag here. Um, it says, oh, meow gourd. <laughs> Your cats are going to love this catnippy plaid pumpkin. It is very cute. And he very much wants it. There we go. And for those of you that were watching last week when he immediately dropped his toy down here, he may very well do that again. You know what? Let's see if I can head him off at the pass. And I'll put this box. Let's see if that if that works to stop it from going behind the chair where it's hard to get. Oh. Nope. Okay. Okay. 30 seconds, you guys. 30 seconds. I guess that's the fun of it, right? Is making me pick it up for him. Okay. Well, this is a very helpful thing. Cat chick clips. Need three colorful kitties to use around the house to clip more than just chips. And actually, I use chip clips to clip fabric to my hoops. I actually, because chip clips usually have a magnet for to go on the fridge, I use them backwards so that I can hold needles on them. But these are cute. There's a black one, a yellow one. And a blue one. And I also do use chip clips as chip clips. So, this is pretty cool. Okay. Next. What is this? Oh, a dish towel. This is really cute. So, you can tell the theme is kind of home, home accessories that are helpful, right? Chip clips and... A dish towel. Chef Kitty's dish towel. Ooh. Cats in the kitchen? Yes, these cute kitties are even allowed on the counter. Maggie does not ever get up on the counter, partly because, ooh, it worked. Partly because he is not that agile. He can get up here. But the only reason he can get up here is because he goes from the floor to the chair to the up here. He doesn't ever jump from the floor. He's just not that, uh, he's not that athletic. But here is my dish towel. That will be really cute to keep in the kitchen, to wipe my hands when I'm doing the dishes and stuff. Because yes, even though I am a big slob, I do do my dishes at least once a week. I let them, I let them stay in the sink, but then I do have a dishwasher. Yay. This is the only, 
Um, I live in the only studio apartment in my complex that has a dishwasher. <laughs> And should we give him a nosy? Well, he's eating now. You want your other toy? What is this? This is just like a little sign. Live, love, live, laugh, loaf. Sign toy. He is a big loaf cat when he sits. Oh, because it's, oh, I see the little ribbon is the signpost thing. No, it isn't. I was right the first time. Live, laugh, loaf. And it doesn't smell like anything to me, but it's full of, you can like feel leaves or something. Catnip, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah. We like it. We like it. We like it. We threw it on the ground. Oh, okay. You want to go get it? You want to go get it where? Over there. Over there. Go get it. Yeah. Go get it. You want this one over there too? Go get it. Okay. Bye for the cat. All right. Next thing for me, I'm excited about this. I can just even see from the box. This is a cat vase. breaking the box because it's better the box than my nails, right? Oh, there. Okay. I really like sort of the minimal things that they do where, you know, for sure it's a cat, but it's just a minimal... Thing. This is, I guess, yeah, it is ceramic. It feels almost metal, but um, it's just got this, this interesting little profile with the gold in the ears. It's very cute as a vase. I'll have to get a few really artificial flowers to put in there. That would look really cute. And the last thing, of course, is our wearable. Um, there's always something, a shirt, usually a t-shirt of some kind um, in the box. In December, it's usually a hoodie or a sweatshirt, so that will be exciting. Um, I got this one. This is one of my very first ones that I got, which says cat hair is my glitter. Um, actually, I think I ordered this separately. It, it was previous year than what I had used, but um, as somebody who cross stitches, I always say cat hair is a specialty fiber because I'm sure there's some in everything that I do. Um, but this month I'm excited because the color is like a heathered purple. It's really pretty. And it says home is where the cat is. And you know what? I do feel like that. When I go and spend the night over at my brother's, which I do, you know, I, when I go over there, it's, he's not that far away. It's only half an hour, but it's, it's more fun for me to be able to spend the night because, then I can watch movies late with the kids and then, you know, I get up early and we play, usually we play D&D when I'm over there. Um, and it just, you know, takes up that travel time. So I, I usually spend one to two nights there when I go and um, I miss my kitty boy. I really do. I miss having him snuggled next to me. Home is where the cat is. So this is great. And, and their heather t-shirts tend to be like this super soft. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's a cotton blend. Yeah, cotton polyester spandex, but they're so soft. And this one is a v-neck, which I prefer um, fashion-wise. I don't really like crew neck shirts. I don't wear them very often. Well, I don't wear t-shirts to my work, so I have this whole wardrobe now of cat t-shirts that I wear on the weekends because um, that's when I can. But I like the, uh, I like the v-necks better. I think they're more flattering on me. Um, but this one's great because I like what it says and I like the purple and the lavender writing. Pinky lavender. Yeah. So this is one of my favorites, I think. Okay. So just to recap, we got the t-shirt, the two toys, this really cool vase, um, 
this nice little kitchen towel uh, and the chip clips in the box and then the extras I got this, um, this that I've been wanting I'm gonna stick a candle in this and uh, light it today and some pens this really cute psychedelic kitty tote should I say psychedelic kitty or psycho kitty because baggy sometimes is I gotta say so psycho kitty you know what's great about this too is if you do go on a trip and you go on a plane which I am not in any frame of mind ready to do yet um, but when you go to, if you do put this in baggage claim, you're going to be able to find it right away. Right? And then last but not least, kitty mat bed for Hanukkah. So yes, yeah, so that is my haul for November. Very nice. Very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching with me. And um, until I see you again. Please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla and Baggies over there. Bye-bye.